All right, guys, today we're gonna to talk about how I pack ammo cans. So we're gonna start with a standard ammo can. I'm gonna put nine mil in it, but the first thing I really do is, I save this black foam out of packages, right, that uh, come in the mail, and all I do is I cut a strip for the bottom. All this really does is it keeps, it keeps the ammo off the bottom of the can Moisture will generally sink to the bottom and it allows me to put the silica packets in the bottom And that way if there's rain or something and the cans open right the water will go to the bottom But this black foam will keep the ammo off the bottom, right? So I always put these silica packets in since these are little guys. I'm probably gonna put about six on the bottom right so uh, Six on the bottom of the can and then I'm gonna start to put the ammo in now Generally speaking, these, uh, these 50 caliber cans, right, this size can will fit 2,000 9 mil rounds. So I'm going to dump 2,000 9 mil in here, and you can see I get it packaged. It comes 250 rounds in a box, right, and I'm just going to dump them in the bottom, right. When I get to, when I fill the can and I get all 2,000 rounds in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the top of the can. Generally what I like to do is I like to uh, mark the grain, right, what grain the ammo is, what type of ammo it is, and then also with the tape is I like to color code the tape. And what do I mean by color coding the tape is once all my rounds are in the can, right, and then I just put a thousand in, I'm going to put another thousand in, but I'll show you how to mark the top of the can is, look, this is the top of the can. I use orange tape for my nine mil, and what I'm gonna write on it is, is two, two K, meaning 2,000 rounds, and this is 115 grain, right? Nine mil, right? And that's all I'm gonna write on the top so I know what's in the can, right? And when I seal it, that'll be on the can. Also, what I do once in a while is I'll take the box itself, Right, and then see this is a defender box is what I'll do is I'll, I'll cut the top of the box off Right, so I know what type of ammo this is right so I'll cut the defender off. I'll cut the nine mil off Right and that way I know what it is and I'll throw it in the can the last thing I'm gonna write on here is I'm gonna write the date I packed it right so today's what uh, I don't know March 18th, so I'll write 18 March, right, and I'll put 20 on here. That way I know when it was packed, how much is in there, what, what grain, what type of ammo, and what caliber, right? And then all I'm gonna do is seal it up. And that's how I mark or prep all my cans. You know, when I was in the Army, um, we shot a lot of World War II ammo. You'd look at the can, you'd open the wooden crate, you'd look at the cans in it, and they'd be like from 1942, 1941, and the ammo would be just fine, right, in these cans, because they seal really well, right? But once I add the silica packets, right, uh, this will eat any moisture that's in there, right? And then the last thing I'll do is, because these are little guys, I'll throw another six on top, right? and then I'm gonna seal my can up. So this can is sealed, right? 2,000 rounds of nine mil, 115 grain, right? I'll seal it up and then should be good to go and it'll keep dang near forever.